Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your Mi Projector, uh, Mi Smart Projector 3 Pro for the first uh, setup. So right here it's already enabled, it's starting, now it's erasing data, data so it can start uh, to set up. After erasing process is done, we'll be greeted with the setup uh, screen and we can I can show you how to do it. So here you have the first thing you see when you power on your projector and it says that you need to press the button in order to start connecting. It might be out of focus now because it's adjusting at the same time. But now uh, plug in some uh, batteries to your pilot. The pilot looks like this. You probably won't see it well because of the light that the projector emits and simply click on the OK middle button right here. And now it's uh, paired successfully, as you can see. Here you can change the focus uh, or auto focus of your device. So you can uh, press the left button in order to change the focus, just adjust it so it's sharp and you can see everything clearly. So for me, uh, this option is the best one. And I'm just gonna press next now. Uh, here's the correction of the border of the screen. And you can simply press auto correction. Now it will get out of focus and auto correct our um, border of the screen. After that, we can move to choose the language. And from this list you can pick any language you want and I'm just gonna go with English United Kingdom. And uh, here's some different thing which you can set up this this because uh, it's called it's using the TV system so you can set it up your TV with your Android phone even though it's a projector uh, so if you press continue you'll be able to do it with your phone but I'm just gonna show you how to do it manually without any other device so let me skip that process now here you can select to connect to any Wi-Fi network um, so pick one whichever one you have the password for uh, so for me it's this one enter the password and after that move to the next step so we're connected successfully to this uh, to the internet and our device will set up so if there would be any updates that require download, they might download after this. So don't worry if you have uh, any updates, simply download them. If, and if it says you can skip it, of course you can skip it. Um, for me, I already downloaded this update, so there shouldn't be any available right now. Here also you can log into the Google account. If you have one and you want to log in, simply press sign in. And if you don't want to do it right now, you can of course skip it. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do, because uh, I don't want to log in right now, but it's very simple. Press sign in, enter your email address and the password. It should be logged in. I'm gonna skip it now, as I said. Here's terms of service. Uh, you can read all of the text if you want, there's uh, three of them. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now, I'm just gonna accept to that. 
There's location uh, setting which you can enable or disable, uh, allow or disallow uh, in other case. I'm gonna allow it and uh, I'm gonna help with improving the Android. You can also install all of the following apps which are VLC, VLC for Android, YouTube Kids for Android TV or File Commander Manager and Cloud. Um, you can of course select uh, each one of them specifically if you want. For example, I want only VLC, so I'm just gonna select that one. You can of course uh, select all or simply none. So let's select VLC and continue with a process. Here you can learn some of the features uh, of this uh, projector. So if you move to the next step, you'll learn uh, each uh, of the features. First is get apps from Google Play, so we can download any apps, almost any apps that are available on this device from Google Play Store. The next feature is to talk to the Google Assistant, which is the voice assistant. So we can talk to this device and it will respond with an action or with an with answer. Next option is to cast it to your TV and you can Chromecast uh, the, any screen to this one or uh, the, to from this screen to any other. <laughs> That's very easy. Okay, now let's move to the next step and here should be our device ready. It is. We can uh, open any app or log in to our Google Play Store or whatever we want to do with this device. And that's it for this video, hope you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like and a comment below.